ladies and bees and gentlemen. This video is about people who claim not to be bigots, but still seem to keep the company of bigots. It's not escaped my notice that certain people who profess to support social justice seem to compromise their principles heavily when it comes to certain friends of theirs who are either obviously or subtly bigoted in their political views. Such people will often try to frame their friendship with bigots as somehow being tolerant, presumably attempting badly to appeal to the social justice principle of tolerance. Whenever someone attempts to mount a defence like this, I feel compelled to question whether they even know the first thing about privilege and power, and further whether they understand what social justice actually is. Treating bigots as though they are a disenfranchised demographic is nonsense for two main reasons. 1. Bigots are not a disenfranchised demographic. On the contrary, they are privileged psychographic. 2. Tolerance has an aim, specifically equality. Since bigotry is completely incompatible with equality, it cannot be tolerated. Another argument runs along the lines of how can we change people's minds if we aren't welcoming to them? This prompts me to ask, what efforts are you making to change the minds of your bigoted friends? Like most people, I have friends who from time to time will use language that I consider to be bigoted, or express political views that are bigoted. However, being bigoted is not a comfortable experience when you're in my company. I do not agree to disagree, at least not on matters of social justice. Friends of mine who are bigoted get called out. I should add as well that I have enough sense to gauge whether or not a friend of mine is a decent person who happens to have a privileged blind spot, or if they're just an outright hate monger. In the latter case, their friendship with me is likely to be short-lived, for reasons which should be, but apparently aren't obvious. In a lot of cases, I don't see such efforts being put in by people who claim to support social justice, yet befriend bigots. It's also very, very important to note that an environment that is friendly to bigots is, by default, hostile to those they are bigoted against. One of the aims of social justice, especially online, is to create safe spaces for members of disenfranchised groups. Welcoming bigots into what are supposed to be social justice groups violates that safety. Bigots are already welcome in our society. You can readily hear bigoted jokes, bigoted political views and bigoted slurs being expressed in public spaces, and they go unchecked. Bigots already have their space. They don't need to be welcomed into other people's. As such, your tolerance of bigots is not noble. It is spineless. Thanks for watching.